Can I carry more than one of things? I don't remember. I think you can, but I don't know that they stack. That sounds annoying. Well, nobody wants to give me an axe, buddy. He wants you to be a dwarf. Ah, so I need an axe to have the power to break pots. Clearly, I'm now Link. You can't just grab them and throw them around. That would be rude. You are named it for a building. Really? You sold every single weapon you have? You were the worst arms dealer. I guess it doesn't matter that Rain can't find you even though he's like feet away. <laughs> Unless he found him in between when I talked to him and when I... Did he? No. No kidding. Well, we only got one house left to go to, and it's this one. So this is probably the one with the mice problem. Mouse problem. You know, I think it would be more awesome if there were lots of dragons flying around. Probably. Yeah, you don't need to pay me. I'm sure those mice are loaded. See? That is, in fact, money, not experience. Also, I take it the mice will never actually hit me. Since they seem to run away from me when I get near them. Chasing around. Well, now they're dead, so I can't do that. <laughs> Yay, a scrap of paper. Yay, something of actual worth. Oh god, my inventory is all screwed now. Yep. <laughs> what have I done? Well, let's, let's see what this thing has to say. They divided Ron into four parts in the Tower of Light, and threw him down the staircase on the first floor into that room. Use his body to seal up the fairy source. Well, that was creepy. But hey, I have a shield now. Thank I you for freaking out my face. <laughs> Apparently I can headbang with my shield. Stop. <laughs> hey lady, I killed your rats. I'm wearing the shield that was in there. <laughs> she may not know what was up there. I don't know what's in my attic. Who are you? Ah, I bet you were a roadblock until I did all the plot. <laughs> But now we are outside. With screaming dudes. They only scream when I hurt them though. So it's appropriate. I think they're Cyclops bandits. Also, I can jump, see? Ooh. Hey, you respawned. Get over here. Huh. The way that animated looked like I killed him with my shield. I'm not 100% on the mechanics, since we aren't too far from where I screwed up the last recording. But I think as long as you have a shield, it will absorb hits for you until it breaks. And this buckler takes 30. Uh -huh. Oh no. <laughs> I have failed the simplest of jumps. So good at video games. So that won't come back to haunt me at any point in the future, I can be sure of that. Let's go into this creepy house. You can tell it's creepy because of the music. The music is creepy, is what we're saying. Oh no, it's full of these guys. Oh no, they're trying to be threatening. It's also full of stuff. Like a crimson jade. Which has a fairy in it. I'm going to name him something a little different this time. Since I know what it does. 
<laughs> or rather, what it looks like. Not that too. Here's our, uh, berry. <laughs> also, hearts are heart containers for Watchmen Zelda. Except you have to actively use them, you don't automatically get the extra hit point for finding it. So they're a little less awesome. I think they would actually heal you if you were hurt, though, too. But I want my extra hit point now, and I want to hurt. And Imp there shoots fireballs at us. That Drakey. He's occasionally a good shot and occasionally a terrible shot. Quit respawning. <laughs> Stay dead. Imp can level up. If anything will actually bother to drop the little experience balls, but they don't seem to want to right now. There's one. I can't pick those up, only the fairies can. You can have two fairies at any given time, and then they fight for the experience balls. That's pretty awesome, actually.